Hi, District 9. Your District Director, Kathy Hansen, with Episode 16 of our weekly video podcast. And this week, I want to talk about how to start new clubs, specifically how to conduct a demo meeting. Demo meeting demonstration, also called a kickoff meeting, a launch meeting, and I've heard other names too. Now, typically, a demo meeting is not the absolute first step in starting a new club, but I happen to have been at a demo meeting today, so I thought I'd tell you about it and offer you some tips. The demo meeting today was a treetop fruit near Yakima. And one thing that's really helpful for a demo meeting is to have a critical mass of people come to it. So you want to make sure you promote it extremely well and get as many bodies in the room as you possibly can. Because obviously the more people you have, the more likely you are to get to the 20 members you need to charter a club. We use the opportunity of the Pledge of Allegiance to explain that new clubs have the opportunity to form their own culture. Uh, uh, in the United States, most clubs probably do the Pledge of Allegiance, but some don't. So that's just one example of how a club forms its own culture, its own personality, does its own thing to a great extent. We had our role players explain their meeting roles very thoroughly. We had the full gamut of role players, grammarian, table topics master, evaluator, general evaluator, toastmaster, timer, and the whole crew. And it's really important for those newbies to understand what those roles are all about. And it's a really good argument for always explaining the roles in your regular club meetings, even if you don't have any guests, because it's just really good practice. Of course, we had speakers. And a really good practice in a demo meeting is to have one relatively inexperienced speaker and one advanced speaker. Your inexperienced speaker will make your newbies feel comfortable, and your advanced speaker will give them someone to aspire to. Uh, the idea that they could be speakers on that level at, at some point. We had evaluators. Uh, I evaluated a speech and I used the opportunity to explain that the speaker was using the interpretive reading manual so she was actually reading her speech rather than delivering her own original material and I thought that was unusual and the audience might like to know about that. We did table topics and every single one of our table topics participants was a treetop person so they had little to no Toastmasters experience. And I find at demo meetings you have two kinds of people, those who cannot wait to get up there and talk and those who are terrified to get up there and talk. And Table Topics really addresses both of those people because the ones who want to talk have the opportunity to get up there and do it and the ones who are reluctant get past that hump, get past that initial terror of getting up there and speaking. So once they've done it, they, it's in the past, they are more confident, and they are looking forward to trying again in the future. We gave Best Speaker, Best Evaluator, Best Table Topics awards, showing the audience that they have something to strive for, recognition, and awards that they can earn in their Toastmasters experience. Now, if you would like to learn more about new clubs or volunteer for a demo team, here's where you can find more information. There's a section on the Toastmasters International site that tells how to start a new club. And on our District 9 site, we have a page called Prospects that gives you lots of ideas for groups that you might approach about starting a new club. We also have our club growth director, Christine Meyer. And her email address is there. And her whole job, or a big part of her job, is to start new clubs. So contact her if you have an idea or you're really interested in getting involved with a new club team. Thanks a lot. See you next week.